Landis & Gear has been in operation for over 125 years. We are the world leader in meter energy and leading the grid intelligence forefront. Everything we do internally at Landis & Gear pertains to sustainability to some effort. We are not only in the business of providing clean energy, but we're also in the business of trying to reduce our impact on climate change. And so we've created a lot of internal sustainability metrics and processes and programs to not only encourage our employees to act better, more responsibly and sustainably, but we also require a lot of our vendors and people that we work with to meet certain metrics. The biggest transformation we have is taking our monolithic application that we've developed over the last 20 years and delivered to a lot of utilities and giving them what they want, which is more of a cloud native and agnostic solution that they can deliver and, and deploy wherever it is that they need it. Internally, we had a internal solution that we would just host, which were nothing more than static VMs and hypervisors. Uh, we also tried using VMware's Horizon platform, but it was very much an administrative burden and very difficult to manage. We also tried Azure Virtual Desktops. And while that was probably the best of the ones that we tried, it was still incredibly difficult to manage the profile associations. The setup was very tedious. And overall, it was just very difficult to deploy. One of the number one concerns we had was security. Uh, so with WorkSpot, it provides the capability to provide profiles against pools and users, uh, and you can do separate profiles for them. So it gave us an opportunity to restrict certain environments more than others, depending on who has provided access. And it complemented our internal security strategy and tools very easily. The second main priority we had was the capability to deploy quickly with different types of PCs, um, whether it be persistent or non-persistent, or a various amount of templates uh, for us to be able to provide, say, finance or HR or certain R&D organizations predefined systems as their group needs them. The initial offering from Google that we received and the people that we discussed it with was very attractive and very exciting because we knew that they had the experience in the forefront to do software delivery like we wanted to do. And then we tied that in with the VDI that WorkSpot provides and it gave us a very quick, easy solution to be able to deploy and provide access securely to partners and vendors as needed. Azure gave us one of the best capabilities for developing, which is nested virtualization. And it isn't available in some of the other cloud service providers as we needed, so we went with them and, and it was natural since WorkSpot supports Azure that we were able to deploy quickly into Azure and begin using it very quickly. The cost savings that we factored in is, is it used to cost us anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 for a laptop, and there's a, there's a lot of administrative costs and a lot of procurement processing costs that goes with that that is somewhat intangible and hard to measure against. But with cloud PCs, we, we kind of skirt the whole conversation about all that ownership because we're essentially able to deploy a cloud PC with almost no cost, no effort, and no resources. So it's literally 15% of what the overall cost was previously. The one metric most people would find surprising is that we've been able to reduce our deployment time for PCs over 75%, you know, and 75% being a rough average, you know, there are times where that would be much greater depending on the use case if we had to onboard and ship laptops to you know, from say Germany to India or the United States or Mexico. For me, it was the people who sealed the deal. Technology can be very easy to deal with here and then, but having fantastic people to work with helps us proceed along our journey even easier. Landis will continue to be an IoT leader in the field and not just smart energy management, but also grid intelligence. There are a lot of initiatives today with security because of the hacker threat and other nefarious entities that want to do harm to utilities like, like shutting power off and disrupting technology. We want to be a global leader in that and we want to do it in a sustainable way.